the 40th year anniversary of you know, our government acknowledging that AIDS existed was was a landmark. You know, gay people had already been invisibilized by this country, um, by the medical system, by politics, by the church, and for someone to actually hear, you know, our cries was really important. We have the the AIDS block. The AIDS quilt that was made by the Glide community in 1996. And these are the names of folks connected to the Glide community who died from AIDS. Um, you know, 1996 and these many names. So we're going to bring this quilt panel home next week. We're going to hang it from the balcony in the sanctuary and it will be the backdrop of our Sunday celebrations throughout the month of June. Just hold on to your dreams. Queer folks and survivors created the AIDS Grove. Queer folk and survivors created Glide as we know it. So it's not just that Glide welcomes LGBTQ folks. Glide is built around and for and by, you know, LGBTQ folks. Let us pray. We know now that HIV cannot be contracted through the sharing of gods. So today we call in as many faith traditions as are sewn together here today in this quilt. We know now that HIV is not transmitted through the telling of stories. So today we will not, we will not leave it up to history to tell, erase, diminish or leave them out of their own stories. It's really important that we show the, the breadth of ways that HIV and AIDS impacts communities. And so no one is exempt from the virus. You can be a woman and heterosexual, you can be a lesbian, you can be a gay man, you can be a straight man, you can be an intravenous drug user, you can be a, a pregnant woman, you can be a child born HIV positive, you can be an elder. All of these are our possibilities, but we learn how to love and be compassionate through what we have done with LGBTQ folks.